What's up guys, it's Hadai 7 rct bringing you another video for you guys. And today I'm gonna go down the nerdy route, because I wanted to do something that had to do with uh, mods, of course. Uh, for a very long time already, uh, I know I've covered a lot of emulation in the past, and done some things here and there, tweaking, and doing some extra stuff for games. Case in point, recently I did the uh, Final Fantasy XV mods video. Uh, that was something very interesting, at least to me, and I know some of you guys out there like watching this kind of uh, stuff. But today I wanted to be a little bit more specific, more on point to specialized services or platforms dedicated for mods on PC game. Now, I know I'm, it's going to be a little limited because I'm just going to focus on Nexus. Nexus has been a platform for quite some time already. Uh, they have had their website where you can go and download different types of mods for different types of games. Now, in their community and building up their community, they came out with uh, software that allowed you to manage all of your mods in a single place. That is what we're going to focus on today. Uh, specifically the new and improved version of said mod manager, which is Vortex. Now Vortex, which I'm going to bring the desktop, my desktop here for a second. Uh, Vortex is the most recent iteration of basically of uh, the Nexus mod manager. What it does is it kind of simplifies or it, it brings a different type of user interface. Let's set it up right here. Basically what you do is you go to Nexus Mod uh, website and you're going to see right now if you go uh, about the same time where you watch this video, you're going to see at the Nexus Mod you're gonna see the install vortex option now you go ahead and you download that you run it because right here on the nexus mod site you see all of the games that are basically they, they manage and they do uh, current mods and stuff like that pick and choose whatever you have or whatever you want to configure and stuff and just go ahead and download vortex now before showing you guys what the vortex is the nexus uh, mod manager of before basically gave you uh, a software that you would run it would scan your computer scan your drives where you have your your uh, games whatever drive you have your games in and it created folders and stuff like that to keep nice and tidy all the different mods that you're gonna have and there's so many different mods they have of course graphical mods you have behavioral mods for the game are things that will change the AI, etc, etc. Now, Vortex being the newer version, because it's completely different, if you compare the Nexus Mod Manager, the old one, to the new one, you're going to see uh, something much more similar to an OS operating system, something like that, because it's very, very um, visually rich as I am going to show you here. Sorry for having the OBS there in the corner. I'm working from one monitor alone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up Vortex real quick here. Just to give you guys an idea of how it looks. And while that is uh, opening up, I hope you guys are having a great weekend. I'm trying to catch up on these things that I've been that's been bugging me for me to do for you guys for the longest time I'm getting them out of the way now because now I'm going to go back to the stream uh, streaming schedule or at least try to recreate one um, where I'm able to do at the very least do a, a stream for you guys once a week and then the rest being recordings and stuff like that well going back to the vortex app as you can see here it opens up you can choose to um of course you need to create a nexus uh, account which you should do at the web page and once you do that you can basically from the settings and stuff like that you can basically log in and it'll keep you log in 
with the uh, Nexus um, user account. So that's why you see here the picture that I have. This is the picture that I had on my uh, Nexus account. That's why it reflects here. But basically, you have a whole bunch of options here. I'm only, for the time being, since this is a very new software, Vortex, it doesn't have the whole range of features maybe that the Nexus Mod Manager does have. However, it does give you um, a lot more organized and a lot more visually, I would say visually appealing uh, application to have all of your mods in a nice little place. As of right now, given the, the games that I have, it only supports these games right here. So some of these games I don't have, or I don't have any more, or I haven't purchased at all. So the only one that I am going to focus on, of course, is uh, Witcher 3. Now, Fallout, I do have Fallout 4, but for some reason there are certain things that are not compatible. So basically I'm going to focus on, for now, I'm going to focus on The Witcher 3. Now you have here, basically where it keeps all of your mods. You have settings, different types of settings, advanced settings, simple settings, everything that you could need, folder and stuff uh, that you need to configure in order to have all of the downloads that you do on the website appear here. Or you can even download them from the application as well. Really, really nice stuff. The interface is very, very appealing very user friendly compared to the Nexus uh, mod manager because I've used that one for a while and it was tricky it was tricky so basically right now I'm going to show you in game I have them activated right here is the overweight limit mod and the god mode I have some of the Siri beautiful face and, and big you know what but I'm not going to activate those I'm gonna go into the god mode to show you guys how that works and how it affects the game in which case I'm gonna move to the gaming screen right here and turn off the awesome music in the background so I can show that to you guys all right so let's go I have steam here ready and let's run Witcher 3 so you can Start seeing how the mods that are already activated in Vortex affect the game itself. Now, of course, I've been doing modding on, on PC games for such a, a long time. Everything from texture mods to lighting mods. Um, there's a whole bunch of like ENB effects, lighting effects and stuff like that that we're used to doing in games like the Grand Theft Auto series. Um, you've seen me do videos before because I really love that aspect of it um, Doing like the adding the characters uh, Different kind of comic book characters and stuff like that the Grand Theft Auto vehicles and stuff like that. Well this uh, application the vortex application what it gives you is uh, all in one place that depending on the game supported is gonna give you everything that you would ever want from one application without having uh, you to configure like I had to do before. Like uh, sometimes uh, the mods were not done for a specific version of the game or sometimes you would run into the problems that just because of uh, uh, any file that's not configured right, it wouldn't work or it would crash the game. Having these types of uh, managers help reduce that kind of frustration because it allows you to update any kind of mods to any kind of version of the game that you currently run. So let's go here into the game. Now of course I already mentioned that the mod that we're activating here is the, the over... Uh, the over 9,000 weight limit uh, elimination which basically allows you to carry anything that you want and also the god mode now god mode it's a completely 
badass uh, mod that you can see here it even appears physically among the menu you know that it works when you see the word mod here because it creates a special folder for it now when you go in you find a whole suite of uh, different types of stuff that you can configure as you can see my version of the witch is uh, the most recent one the version 1.31 and it recently got updated to work with this version before it did it didn't work now first off the bat you're gonna see stuff that you can change with this uh, god mode everything from damage that you can apply disable or leave it at default I'm gonna leave it disabled because this one right here has to do with invincibility I'm gonna show you that later on but just going through a rundown here everything is at default crafting stuff unlimited carrying capacity this is one of the things that this one has now if I activate it you're gonna see that I'm gonna be able to carry a whole bunch of items and stuff like that that before I couldn't but let's go into the game so you, I can activate the stuff once I'm in game I'm gonna take one of my older I created a copy of an older save that I had just for the purpose of showing you guys the effects his long search for Siri led Geralt to conclude that Uma the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse was the key to finding a young woman Geralt needed to lift the curse, so he took Uma to the home of the world's greatest specialist on dark spells, to the Witcher's Fortress of Kaer Morin. Alright, here we go. So, if I move... If I move, let's say I'm gonna go... Seeing that it saved the settings with the snow. But let's say I wanna move... As you can see in the top left corner, it says the 9000 limit. That's basically because uh, that's one of the mods that got activated. If I didn't activate it or deactivate it at the Vortex mod, uh, the manager, that would have been, that number would have been in red right now and I would have been uh, overcumbered and not able to carry a whole bunch of stuff, making my movement very sluggish until I get rid of the stuff that's making me overcumbered. Since I have that, I can carry a vast selection of stuff without having to worry about, you know, being slow. Now... Let's say I want to move. Let's say I wanted to go to Karen Morden, which is here. His long search for Siri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the with the uh, fast travel woman. already selected. Geralt basically, the you curse. can go so we took Uma to and the do a fast travel from any part, on like on top of a mountain or whatever. You can actually fast travel anywhere. Now, this, of course, is the last section of the game. Let's start by showing you some, you guys, some stuff here of what we can do. Let's move a little bit towards. We can see the mountain range there. If we go here into the mods and select from the menu effects, you can go. Let's activate the unlimited carrying capacity just since we are already here. Weather conditions we can do a rainstorm and as soon as we come out and resume the game you're gonna see 
the weather conditions changing with the clouds and stuff like that. see the weather conditions change and now it's starting to snow in this area you can do that to any area <clears throat> which is a cool feature to have and let's go to a place where we can see those effects a little bit more take more effect more locally say for example we go here to Novigrad and we go to the town area. Let's say let's go right here to the square. Which is usually very bustling with a lot of activity and you see a lot of the the god rays and the illumination effects from the daytime, nighttime cycle. So here the weather effects are gonna be a little bit more intense to the witcher's fortress of Kaer Morin. Now the cool thing about this having this uh, mod manager is that different from other times where I had to install manually the mods to have the effect in the game here you basically download it through the application the application sets everything up for you it allows you to install the mod create the folders all inside of the app you don't have to worry about configuring anything you just point to the folders where you keep your game it's gonna find the game and create the folders that it needs really really user friendly compared to past mods of course now, to see the full effect let's wait until daytime so we can see the sun here and here we are see everything is clear and you can see in the top part the top right that it says clear now we go inside the mod menu effect let's change it into something drastic or like the rainstorm there we go in real time we see the clouds and everything changing and wet cloth and stuff like that effects. See the drain raindrops falling here on the bottom of the puddle. So everything changes. You can just play around, mess around with whatever you want. That being said, let me show you just one more thing before uh, ending this video, which is something that has to do more with uh, mechanics and damage you know the gameplay aspect of the mod for that let's travel to a place where we can find something to actually fight against let's go How about we go to skeletons and here let's go to something like let's go here his long search for Siri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding a young woman. Geralt needed to lift the curse, so he took Uma to the home of the world's greatest specialist on dark spells, to the Witcher's Fortress of Kaer Morin. Of course, there's another mod that's running that is not really necessarily tied to the god mod and that is more in the ways of video options 
it's a mod called, I think it's um, The Witcher 3 uh, HD Graphics 5.0, something like that, along those lines. Where if you go, right now I'm running it in 1080 for you guys, but in actual gameplay, see, the Ultra HD texture. It's a, a level beyond Ultra, and it, it replaces some of the textures in the game with 2K and 4K textures. Really, really nice. When you up the game up to 4K, you see it, it's completely beautiful. Like the screenshots that I gave you guys, I uploaded on Twitter. Just completely amazing. Now, going back to this, you go into the mods. We can tweak the damage done by different aspects of gameplay, like you know, overall damage, the damage that the bomb does, crossbow, fist fights, signs, and sword. Everything can be configured to your liking. If I want to make like a super powerful sword attack, I just keep moving the slider like to a ridiculous number like this and just go for it. Let's try that out. to find somebody to pick a fight with or maybe one of these animals actually let's get somebody make it clear and also, let's get a horse. Now, the horse, you can get them. This is the default setting where I just hit the button and he'll whistle and bring the horse will start riding to where he's at but I can instantly summon and be mounted so it can be something instantaneous if you really want to get out of a place which is what I'm going to show you guys right now and now we see that I changed to a clear weather and I'm already mounted and ready to go go, go. So let's seek somebody to fight with here so I can show you guys. Come on. Well, these are not enemies. A spot of woman cheeks with you, right? Oh, I can't travel this side. Hey there. Put it away. That's good advice. Wow, he's a pretty high level guard. And if I want. I don't have to take any damage at all. Just go here into the menu, damage. I can bring the overall multiplier to high. And the sword, let's make it even higher. Character stats take no damage, and that's it. You can be here all day. Boom, and that's it. Whack, that's it. One shot, and they're down. Got a betrothed. So, yeah, guys, that's basically it. Just a little demonstration um, of what you can do 
in game with a game like Witcher 3, even though it's an old game, it doesn't matter. You'll breathe basically new life into games like these through mods, which is one of the things that fascinates me the most about having these. And that I really appreciate about you know PC gaming in general. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoy that. This is gonna be all for now. Until next time, I hope you guys stay clear. Please like and subscribe if there's something um, that has to do related to um, PC modding or uh, emulation, which is something that I'm trying to get back at. Um, just let me know. Leave a drop a comment down below, and I will get in touch with you guys very soon. Stay tuned for my streams, which are going back on on Twitch tonight. Actually, I'm gonna be doing one at seven around 7 p.m., but you'll probably have this video ready before that. So take care, guys. See you. Peace.